Hello, I wanted to show you a little device I created using my drill press to help create the radius on the back and the top of the sides of my guitar. This is a radius sanding dish that comes from LMI which I've laminated to a, a three quarter inch piece of plywood to stabilize it. I've drilled a three quarter inch hole in the center of it and I've fixed it up with a set of pulleys attached to my drill press. Uh, let me describe it a little bit to you. I've taken a piece of plywood and mounted it to the table of my drill press using uh, T-bolts and, and knobs that I've ordered. I have a half inch rod coming out of the, the collet of the drill press and extending down through a, a pulley wheel two and a half inch pulley wheel and then mounted in a pillow block bearing there. That allows me to put pressure on the belt without uh, putting lateral stress on the spindle. The belt is 50 inches long. Uh, it could be a little shorter, um, probably anywhere 48 to 50. And that it goes out to a 10 inch uh, pulley wheel that's mounted underneath. I've got that uh, three quarter inch threaded rod going through a couple of pillow block bearings there with the pulley in the middle extending up through the dish. I'm achieving right now about a 50 RPMs. I've got my drill press set at a speed of 210 RPMs and then the gear reduction with the pulley wheels brings this down to about 50. I, I could also set my drill press at 420 RPMs and get this up to around 100 RPMs. I'll be experimenting to see which one works best for me. I want to start slow. Anyway, I feel pretty good about how this turned out and uh, hopefully it'll reduce the work of sanding those uh, sides. And, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, let me know if you want a list of parts not counting the drill press and the dish from LMI, I think I spent about a hundred bucks on bearings and rods and belts and things like that. So not too expensive. Certainly cheaper than buying a uh, variable speed potter's wheel or something like that. Good luck and happy guitar making.